hi guys welcome to another video in today's video we are doing a very quick three shadow eyeshadow look and this was the look I was able to achieve so if you want to see how I got this look and the palette I used and all of that make sure you keep on watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye guys okay right quick we're gonna do a quick eye look I'm gonna use the P Louise rumor number no. five base and this eye look was in my Fenty Skin Stick and Thread Beauty uh, review, you know, side by side. And a lot of my buddies was like, they like the eye look. So why not recreate it? So this will be a really quick video for you guys. I just took that and blended it in. And of course, we're only using one palette today. I always just use one palette. <laughs> If you know, then you know that this is my favorite all-time base. I need to find my blank canvas, though. My P. Louise blank canvas. I have a small one, and then I had a very obscene large one for no reason. I need to find that one, because that's the one I need to use more. Like, I don't know what made me buy that very large eye base like that. That's all I need to be using from here on out until the end of the year. Okay, and pat it in, make sure it's flat and everything is blended. Okay. The eyeshadow palette I used is the Morphe 3503 Fierce by Nature. And I took this shade right here, the brown shade right here, and we're gonna put that in a crease. Y'all know my lips, my my lips. Y'all know my lips be as simple as they can get. <laughs> and I started to record it that day. I'm like, no, this is kind of simple. Like I don't think nobody will really be interested in it. And sure enough, you guys was like, Nana. Where's the eyeshadow look? <laughs> so just take that and put that in the crease. Put that all over the lid. I hear the news playing in the other room. Today is September 11th. And mm, that's uh, not really a good mental day for me. I was in college in Brooklyn when this happened. And I was also pregnant with my oldest son at that time. So September 11th, I don't really like it. So hopefully today I can... Uh, I don't need to look at my phone. I don't need to look at the news. I don't need to be on a computer, even though I'll be at work. So hopefully nothing flashes like on my screen or whatever. You know how certain things just cause your mood to damper. And no matter how hard you try to like big your mood up, it is always that naggingness. You know, it was just not good. <laughs> That's probably why my body instantly got up. This morning also. I usually use that time to like meditate or pray or write in my journal or just do, you know, to wake my, not just my body is up, but I need to wake my mind up. <laughs> wake my mind up with positive thoughts. Thinking positive. The day is going to be great. So that's another reason. Um, I you I get up early. You you need especially if you have kids or things that you have to do, you know, outside of yourself. You always need to set time to yourself to do these things. So this is a very quick look. Yep, got it in there. Okay. Then NYX glitter glue, y'all know the drill. 
another thing that has been sitting on my desk. Oh, there it is. I was about to say, girl, where you at? <laughs> she might like, not a hiding from you. You ain't got to hide from me. Hiding from you, Nana. And what I think is sick of me. And put that on the lid, the remaining part of the lid. Look up so you can see where your crease is. All on you. If you want to stay low with it, you can. Some days I like to stay low, but most days I like for it to be high, like my shadows. I'm still looking for my NYX Vivid Mac. I've been at Alta. I've been at Alta so much in the last month. I know they're sick of me, but all they all I see from them is the Epic Wear liner, and I'm like, although I'm gonna just go ahead and order it off Amazon because Amazon has it for like five dollars. I need to just order it off Amazon and stop stressing myself. That's probably where I got it from the last time. Okay, we in there? We in there. Take a brush and we're going to use this red shade right there. The glitter shade. This, this is how the palette looks and we want to see the total palette. I don't even know if they still sell this. That's how long I had it and I just started playing with it this year. So we're going to take it and pop it. Pop it on. Not so much on the outside because, of course, we're probably going to take a dark brown shade and do the outside. But for now, I'm just putting this shade on the bed. <laughs> you probably say, no, like, no, why are you why are you ain't at the work? But hmm, I like what I like. <laughs> I like what I like. To some, this could be a little too much. To me, it's just enough. It's probably not doing enough. Enough justice. And once you see my flower shirt, then you'll see why I decided, really decided to recreate this look again today anyway. Right? Okay, how are we looking? Bam. Then we'll take this brown shade and put that in the outer V. And that's three shades and we're done. You know? Pat it. Don't, like, swipe it first. You got to pat this one in. We don't want it to mess up the details of the red shade. It almost dipped into the black. But I didn't want to do black. Black is for a night out look. I'm fine with dark brown. Just kind of pat it on there. Can y'all see me? I think makeup is making a comeback as far as like YouTube. That's the only place I watch makeup videos on. I hope it's making a comeback because I love to look at full length makeup videos and not just those shorts. I don't know why. I just can't get into the shorts. I guess because I really can't see like the in between and you know. You know what I mean? Like how they got there. And just take a, another fluffier brush and make sure that's blended. 
And I'm always looking down, y'all, to make sure I, f I feel my crease. Oh, I stuck my finger in there. Shadow. I stuck my finger in the shadow. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. And we're going to clean up this when we do our makeup. So back to the glitter. Okay, I'm going to throw on some liner and I'll be back. But so far, this is all I did, y'all. All right, guys, this is the completed eye look using the Morphe Fierce by Nature palette. Like I said, I only used three shades, and this is the look that I was able to achieve. You don't have to get this particular palette. You can use whatever palette you have with similar shades, but for my buddies who wanted to know about the eye look, this is it, and these are just some eyelashes from Amazon, not the ones I really wanted on, but... The only ones I can put my finger on at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Making sure I pinch them. To make sure they're together. And that's it. So if you enjoyed today's very quick eye look, make sure you keep, keep on watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.